Welcome everyone to another clone challenge. This one is the Kings of Spin, Team Shane Warren, taking on the team of Mutai Moralitherans. Oh, Team Morally basically versus Team Warney. It's going to be an interesting one. Leg Spin versus Off Spin. The battle of the two greatest test wicket takers of all time. And they're battling in a 5-5 encounter. I give Warren a little bit of the edge. Purely because uh, he's just a little bit of a better batsman. Uh, but he was sort of almost an all-rounder to a point. Um, although his highest test score, 99. Absolutely devastating that he never ever got to that 100. And Team Warren has won the toss. Got that retro Australian kid on here at his home ground of the MCG. And Team Warren have chosen a bowl. I think this is a good decision here. So last, uh, last video I asked you guys to give me some suggestions of videos to make, of, uh, of clones to fight against each other. Well, you know, not fight, but you know, to battle it out in a match. And this was one of them, yep. was the two greatest spinners of all time in Shane Warren, Moralitherin or Morally Duran. Like everyone sort of has a different pronunciation of it. I'm just gonna go with Morally for majority of the video here to make it a lot easier for me. But I wonder what's gonna be a good score here between uh, the Warnies and the Morallys. Shane Warren looks about 100 years old here with the white hair. Yep. Almost blonde on. Morley goes over the top on the offside. That is quite a shot. And it goes for four. So now that we've had a battle of sort of the best, uh, or, you know, current best two batsmen. There's a wrong one. I reckon sliding down the leg side there. Oh, Warren has decided to go upstairs here with a review. And look, I just wonder if uh, these older players think that now that they've got technology, every time they appeal, it has to be out. And I'm not sure Warney would have taken 700 wickets if he'd uh, DRSed everything. Or maybe he would have taken 800 wickets if the DRS existed. I don't know. you gotta, you got to think how many of their LBW decisions they were very lucky to get away with back in the day. Come on, let's go to ball tracker here. He clearly didn't hit it. But I reckon the old, old fellas, they're like, look, I reckon it's out. All the time. Every time they appeal, they reckon it's out. But no, this one, as I told you earlier, was sliding down the leg side warning. There's no need to review it. You're a goose. As I was saying, we've had a battle of two really quality batsmen in Steve Smith and Virat Kohli. Then we had the battle between Mitchell Stark and Jasper oh. Bumrah. This time we've got the battle of the spinners in Warney and Morley. Uh, there's also, a, I've got a whole bunch of these on the cards. There's going to be a clones video every sort of Monday you know, we've got more battle of pace bowlers, whether it's Brett Lee and Dennis Silly facing off. Nathan Lyon versus Moeen Alley in a battle of the off spinners and a battle of the bunny, I suppose. In that line getting Alley out a lot. A lot of people wanted to see Warner versus Root as well. So there's a whole bunch of these on the cards. Tenduka versus Lara, another big one uh, that people are suggesting. And S Steve Smith, of course, against the Don Bradman. Now, my channel is mostly focused... Uh, on sort of the Australian cricket side. So I'll try and have as many Aussies involved as possible. There's a wicket. Shane Warne just gets a little bit of the outside edge. And the wicket is taken. I reckon uh, the spin of Warne is going to be very good. Yep. Oh, that's a quality shot before. Always good to see tailenders put on a show. And the beauty about this batting lineup, yeah, it's all the tailenders. I reckon a big leggy that just rips out of the rough. Oh. Oh, 89. That's a bit better. Team Morley at the moment on track for about a 30 score. There's a little leading edge for a dot. So one for 10 after two. Although here's the thing. I know we played that Stark v. Boomer game at North Sydney Oval. This one, of course, at the MCG. So gives a lot of big boundaries. going to be very difficult to hit a six on this venue. There's a quality uh, shot, but it should be out, actually. And it's taken at cover by Warren. Morley's going to go. And another dot ball, really, as uh, Warren gets the wicket. So these uh, dot balls, or these wickets, are also dot balls. So you've got to take them every day of the week. That one going straight in the air to cover. Warren with a nice catch overhead. Not known for his elite fielding skills. Generally will be fielding at first slip, covering uh, all of not many Ks throughout the day. And will just be chilling a bit of like the Shane Watson type. Although Shane Watson was actually a pretty good fielder in his early days. To be fair, there's an outside edge. Another good catch by Warren. Finger goes up. Warney's got a couple. Very good over. Third wicket of Morley Falls. 
A very slow-paced game, I suppose, with the spin, but this is a fantastic over from Warren. This is the first couple of runs coming from it here. They'll pick up two. Just two more wickets in hand for Team Worley. This could be quite a quick chase if he gets this total underneath 30. Oh, very close. Now, obviously, Warney here is bowling very well, as uh, Morley not scoring too much. But the challenge, I think, is going to be when Shane Warne comes out to bat. Because we know how good Morley is with not only his off-spinner, but his Doosra. So he'll have the offy, the toppy, the Doosra all going. It'll be spinning every which way, as Warney's doing, I suppose, with his wrongen, which is not bowling a lot. That one, the wrongen, I reckon this is out. It's a massive shout. The finger's up, and Warren gets wicket number four. Yeah, look, the one thing I will say about this is maybe it's going over the top. But no, no review. Morley goes for a golden duck, and it's four for 12. We are going to have a look at it. You could tell it was going to spin away. It was just going to trap him on the crease. Impact in line. Wickets smashing into the top of middle stump. Wrongen. Obviously a leg spinner. That one, not the wrongen, but it's hit. Very nicely over the top for four. And you've got to think, with just one more wicket in hand for Team Morley, they've got to get some runs on the board, so they're going to have to try and hit some shots and give themselves any sort of chance winning this game. That one trying to be inventive again. Oh, wrong and again and again. Punched into the gap over points for four. Oh. Driving this one towards cover. We'll just take the single. Retain the strike. Four for 21. One over to come. So what's going to be a defendable total here? Ten off this last over. Gets Team Morley to 31. And I think uh, five or less is probably going to be a really tough ask. This one's in the air. There's a man getting underneath it. And it goes over Warren's head. All the way for six. Oh, this one down the ground. This will be another boundary. And already ten from this last over in the first three balls. By the number six, Morley. 19 from eight. Oh, oh, what I should have done is put it on a day five pitch. Oh, this is a stumping. Warren gets the stumping. The umpire soft signals out with a nod of the head. Well and truly out. What a good piece of keeping by Warren there. See the stumps lighting up well before Morley gets his foot back in as he tried to slide it back. And that's out. Team Morley all out for 31 with the ball to come. So Warren will be pretty happy with this. The one thing going in the Morley's favour here is it is more than a runner ball. There is a little bit of pressure in that respect that you will need to hit a couple of boundaries to get yourselves into this one. How will the Warns go about this big challenge? 32 runs needed. And 29 balls and he's hit it straight to short leg. Or well, square leg. Wasn't really short leg. Of a square leg indeed. So Morley gets the first pretty quick, and this is what we we're talking about. We're saying Team Warren bowled well, but now Team Warren has to bat well. The pressure of runs on the board could get to you. Morley started well. Oh, and that's a good shot from Warren. Over cover, that's four. Oh, very nice. Just drifting it away. Oh, and again, just finds the gap between bat and ball. It's four from the first over, though. He's pretty good so far. And this time he goes down the ground. And Warren hits it into the sight screen down there on the bounce. It'll be interesting to see how Team Warren goes about it. Do they just look for these singles down to sort of long off? Or do they go for the boundaries and try to get it over and done with as quickly as possible? By Warren gets Warren on striker, who's already hit a couple of boundaries. Understood the form he was in and put him on strike. Got ball. Oh, that's close. I think it's out. It is given. Team Morley. Hang on, they've all got number one on their back. Doesn't Morley have 99? Might have buggered that one up. But Team uh, Warren lose their second week at two for nine. Big off break by Morley there to get that one. I reckon this was almost identical to the delivery Warren bowled earlier to dismiss Morley with a wrong and yeah, not hitting quite as high up on the stumps and pretty close actually to the leg stump. The other one from Warren, I suppose, was hitting right smack bang in middle stump. Some really high quality bowling. Oh! Is that out? Was that not on the... Maybe it was on the bounce. A bit surprised by that. Anyway, just one from that over and a wicket. What an over from Morley. 23 from 18 needed. Well, that's a wide. 
That is a shocking delivery. Might need to fix some things up a little bit there. Oh, this is out, I think, again. It's another massive shout. Billy Bowden says no. I think if it's not out, it's going down the leg side. But I think this is pretty close. Morally thinks it's pretty close. And after consulting with himself, he wants to go upstairs. Let's have a look at front on spin vision, thanks. No bat involved, and it's hit him. Oh, gee, I reckon this is out. It's him right at the top of the crease. How far does it turn? Not very much. It's out. That's a shocking decision, first of all, to not give that out, because that is absolutely plum. Team Warren lose another wicket, and uh, the finger not really going up, but it's uh, a wicket nonetheless. Three for ten. Team Warren in all sorts. This has been two very, very good overs in a row. 22 from 16 now. We saw that last wicket stand of the Morleys was uh, easily their best run partnership. Managed to get 10 off the last over as well to give themselves a 31 score, which is going to be very good to defend at the moment. That's three from Warren. Much needed few runs just to keep in touch, I suppose, with the required run rate. Yep. Oh, and that one down the third man. That'll be four. Good shot. Batting, Shane. Again, this time just playing it cool, taking the single. Understand the situation is now just 15 from 14 or 14 from 13. Understand that not everything has to go according to plan. Oh, <laughs> what a ball. That is a good nut. And morally straight between the gap of bat and pad. The death rattle goes beyond. And team Warren at the end of their last wicket. They're four for 18. Warren goes for three. And all of a sudden, two overs to come. Team Warren, four for 18. Well, remember, Team Morley were in a similar position. Oh, but it's all over. It is all over. Around the wicket from Morley. Beautiful delivery. Warren all around it. And the leg stump out of the ground. Just some sensational bowling. The spinners, absolutely dominant in this one taking 10 wickets in this matchup first time we've seen that in an attack of the clones team morally winning by 13 runs the first wicket came very quickly or well, warren tried to get a recovery going through cover but it was just constant wickets this one given not out by the umpire but absolutely plum smashing into middle stump for this beauty of a ball that goes through the gates and then a couple of balls later finishing it off or well, the very next ball actually finishing it off with another clean bowl. Team Warren all out. Not much. To the end of the day, 31 runs was all that was required for a morally win. The morally with 19 from 10, I feel, is uh, the player of the game here. Absolutely superb batting there. And the Warney who took two for two will rue his opportunity that his other bowlers didn't bowl that well. Anyway, at the end of the game... Team Morley wins. Who would have seen that coming? I certainly didn't. I thought uh, Team Warren were going to win this one. But otherwise, we'll keep battling with our Battle of the Clones, everyone, in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for which teams we should battle next. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.